Yes, thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome, sir. Um, uh, we are all aware that it is the electoral process for the university 2000, uh, 2022. Uh, people would really love to know um, who we have right here. Uh, don't want to introduce you. I know you can speak for yourself. You're going to tell us briefly about yourself and maybe tell us about how the electoral process has gone so far and we are all aware that apparently it is the GRCs that we are looking at but it is a lot that has been happening. People would really love to have that brief uh, background. Thank you so much. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me here today. I'm really honored. And um, talking about the GRCs and the whole electoral process that I'll be cutting into details slowly by slowly. So let's go to the first bit of introduction. I'm uh, David Olinga. I'm a student here in my final year. I've been, uh, I'm actually pursuing a bachelor's in international relations and diplomatic studies. Uh, currently, I took on a secretarial position with the Electoral Committee of Cavendish University, and I'm uh, working as a secretary there. So um, the Guild uh, Representative Council, that is uh, what we call the GRCs, the elections are ongoing actually, and tomorrow will be the day, uh, the voting day. You know, we've uh, stipulated a time of uh, 24 hours, that's from today midnight until the next day of Wednesday. So as uh, the Elcom Cavendish University were mandated by the constitution, uh, the 2019 constitution of Cavendish University, yes. and we have given powers to hold and uh, carry on all the elections that we have, we've been having ever since. So this year, uh, we usually hold elections around uh, January, but due to some circumstances that happened, we, uh, we had to push them to around June. That's when we started our elections for the guild president. Yeah, we had a few president, presidential aspirants actually. They came through, took forms, but uh, one managed to, you know, get nominated, and uh, all went unopposed, and we declared him uh, the guild president of Cavendish University. And that is uh, other than Sekau Barnabas. Yeah. So today, currently, what we are on, we're organizing uh, GRC elections, which have been taking part. We've been. Um, issuing out forms to these students from uh, each programs and now these GRCs have been coming up uh, to give you full details there are four faculties uh, in uh, this university that is faculty of science and technology there is law there is social economic sciences yeah. and there is the faculty of business and management so under all these faculties there are programs there so um, uh, let me talk about uh, says for example there are three programs there. There is uh, public administration, journalism, and international relations. So under these programs, we, we need representatives from these programs, two, two, two representatives from each program. That's uh, male and female. So that's how these GRCs come from. Uh, then they take on, uh, you know, each other through the ballot paper. And whoever emerges the winner stands a chance to be on the cabinet. That's the guild cabinet. So the, there are 17 uh, slots there, of which three, the guild president, uh, that is Mr. Sekau Barnabas, has the ability and the powers to appoint any member of his choice, based on his capabilities and interests. So the other positions will be allocated by himself, you know, according to also the capabilities of each member who goes through the JR selections perfect. So tomorrow, I can only say I wish success to the people who are contesting and all their best. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. David. Uh, but before I let you go, uh, people really want, want to know how is this going to happen? Is it going to be physical or online? And if online, how is it going to take place, the process? Okay. So, uh, you know, you know how elections usually turn out. So there are always wrangles, people complaining and argument. So this time around, the elections are going to be online, but we put emphasis on uh, making it transparent as possible. So there's going to be a tally center here at the main campus, Siani, but uh, it will also be projected 
uh, online for those to follow those who are not uh, able to come around to campus but those who can they can come around it's going to be in room 026 uh, they can follow their candidates to, to for more details you know and to cross check so the voting is going to be done online actually so a student will require to have uh, access to his student's email I think every student at Cavendish knows that and they have access here. Yeah. So you log that into your email, then a link will be shared from each faculty. So members uh, that are under Faculty of Social Science and Technology will only receive a link to that faculty only. They will not be able to access a link of law or CES or any other faculty. You know, so to avoid uh, reaching and everything. So once you vote once like this, there will be a link down there showing your response. You can click on it or you even get a notification via your email. You click on it, you follow it, and uh, it will show you the progress and who is taking the lead in your in the race. Yeah, so that's how it's going to be. Uh, thank you so much. I uh, think thank you for coming around. It's been a pleasure having you around, Mr. Devi. Thank you.